Welcome back, everybody, to Save the Light. All right, we are going to hit up the final secret area of the game, the final area period of the game, as a matter of fact. Um, and then once we clear that area, we will there will be nothing left to do but to fight Hessenite. We will have 100%ed every area of the map. Here, let's just look at the map. Like, you can see, 100%, 100%. 100, 100, 100, 100, so many 100s! Um, we just have this one area left to go to, and then we will be ready to go fight Hessenite. That'll be it. Um, however, as much as it pains me to do this, we are gonna have to bench guard, we are gonna have to bench, uh, Connie for this room, because this is one of the most, this is this is, like, easily the most challenging, uh, section of the game. Has the most very- has the highest number of high-level enemies. And we really might need Garnet here for this. So, we are gonna go in with our A-team. Pearl, Con Pearl, Peridot, and Garnet. Um, so first, first things we're gonna do, we hit up a healing fountain. It's more like a healing pedestal, I suppose, but just the words healing fountain are just kind of ingrained in my memory from every other place where such a thing is a fountain. <sighs> okay. Never fear. The great and lovable Peridot is here! Alright, um... So let's see, we can actually do some readjusting. Uh, okay. This is Garnet. Back together. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's get the XP badge off of Connie. Where is it? Whoop. As you can see, uh, the only badge we have not yet attained. She can keep the poison badge, but cool. Pearl's going to be setting stuff on fire left and right, so she can keep that. Um, yeah, this looks good. Actually, um, because I might, from time to time, want to use taunt. Shiny. So that may actually be useful. Um, what else do I want to give Peridot then? Hmm. Chance to burn? Eh, that could help. But then again, things are going to be on fire anyway, like I said. Eh, yeah, we'll get her the poison badge. Yes! Alright. <laughs> Rose's healing lacrimo essence. Actual pearl line? Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, hello, everyone. Wonderful. Synchronize. When Pearl delivers a perfect attack against a target, any hollow pearls attacking that same target will deliver a bonus attack simultaneously. Um, that's cute. That's not nearly as useful as it sounds, to be honest, because hollow pearls don't do a whole Welcome lot of damage. Welcome to my parry page. Um, this is quite optimal. Upgrades, upgrades, but it's still I cute. Upgrades. Like it's like it's not nothing. Um, yeah. Leveling up is just the best. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not nothing, but it's not a whole lot. It's like, especially compared to, like, the other things that make Pearl dangerous, like the backstabs and the crits. Like, yeah, and, 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 yeah, it's like, synchronize. It lets you do an extra five damage on a perfect hit with the Hollow Pearl. It's like, great. Yes, we were just talking about you, Pearl. Um, and so it's just sort of, eh. I mean, like, if you... If you have, like... If for some reason you decided to, like... Pile on as many Hollow Pearls onto a target as possible. So, like, if you had, like, five Hollow Pearls on... On a boss. And then hit... And then got a perfect hit. Then that would be pretty good. But why on earth would you do that? That would be dumb. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. 
proud of us? I am too, Stephen. I am too. Huh. <sighs> Clock. We've been going for almost four hours now, a little less than that. And we are very close to the end of the game now. Here we are! Yeah, like, we don't even need to do this area. Like, this is completely optional, what we're doing right now. Like, if you wanted to just beat the game, like, like, honestly, like, if you're, and like, if you're just here to see the story, you can skip this episode. I've decided now that, that, like, this is, this is going to be a separate video from Fighting Hessa Knight. And so if you just want to see the story, you can skip this episode. This is entirely optional, what we're doing right here. Whoops. Ooh, I know. Oh, yes. I knew this was here. Another area completed. I'm so proud of us. It's like the only reason the only reason to go into this area is to get the uh, final badge of the game, the uh, Crying Breakfast Friends badge. Never fear, the great and lovable Peridot is here. I love how Peridot just is Trixie from My Little Pony. One thingy coming right up. Hmm. Steven, this area is more dangerous than the rest. If we run into trouble, we should return later once we're stronger. Oh man. Oh, we also need uh, garnet for those. <laughs> Maybe this? Uh. That looked like it hit, didn't it? That's weird. Well. Items. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, um... Yeah, we'll take those. Definitely gonna need those. Uh, probably gonna need these. Um... Ability... Yeah, why not? Probably don't need those, to be honest, but... Um... They might be good to have. And we have money to burn anyway, so who cares? Okay, um... Historically, the double jump has not been working for me, so we're... So we're gonna let a different character do the platforming sections here. What am I gonna do pick? Do your thing, thing! How about... Guys, how about this? Being maybe a little too careful here, to be perfectly honest. But you're too careful and not careful enough. I remember dying here. Yes, so do I. is troublesome. Sword guy first, then 
boss monster is going to be the second boss. Boss mage is going to be the second priority. Attacking the right thing there. Yes, perfect. up like that. Oh, Amethyst might actually have been a good pick for this particular fight, just because there are just so many targets to attack. was going well, too. Dang it. Uh, well, game froze. And now watch, we're gonna get to this battle again, and it's just gonna... Things are all gonna go to hell, and it's not gonna... We were winning that fight, too, like, handily. But... 95% of the way there. Damn glitches. Looks like another win for the Crystal <sighs> Gems. Never had that happen to me. I, I actually have had that happen to me a couple of times. Um, on every version of the game. Uh, it's rare, but it's 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 always terrible. It's kind of the one time, it's, it's kind of the only situation where it feels like you're really losing progress, too. Um, hey, it lets me buy more of this stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to be using money for anything anyway. Um, here, actually, I have a new... Peridot here. Uh, no idea, because this has been an issue... Do I have Lion Lickers? I do not have Lion, li lion Lickers. Um, I already... I already did the uh, Lion Licker thing with Lion. Got the roses. I don't think Lion Lickers... Do Lion Lickers do anything after you uh, get that one badge from Lion? What is this nonsense?
one thingy coming right up. Cheeseburger backpack! This'll do the trick. Okay. <laughs> I think Paradox was talking to you. Yes, I, I agree with that. See, and now it's all this is already going worse than it did before. Now we gotta stop her from burning to death. And we have fewer star points. Okay. Item, I choose you. That's not my. Then I used the wrong item. <sighs> it's like this game, like this is why the game got middling reviews when it came out, is because because every once in a while, bullshit like that just completely screws you over. The only reason we're in this situation is because the game glitched out. Greatest creation! Wow. And now... And now we're starting this fight on the back foot because of some bullshit that the boss threw at us. We haven't even had a chance to start attacking the guy we need to attack! Because every one of these mages has decided to throw everything. I can't even use... What can't even I use the star power, what and now we gotta I use a uh, together breakfast instead of the star point thing that I want to use. Guys, because we're all half dead breakfast. already! Initiated. See, and if we have, like, the super OP Lapis that I want them to add to the game, you just have Lapis do a tidal wave and sweep everything away, and that would be the end of this fight. Uh. And, like, actually, Smoky Quartz would be good in this one situation, too, because we could just... both of them at the same time. Yes, it looks like it did. Perfect. Okay. Now we're back in bismuth. Hollow pearl. What am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? Eh, everybody's health is okay. You're back in control of this fight. Perfect. 
perfect harmony. No, nope, no. Nope. No cheapo knockback kills for Steven. It's a double knockback, right? So maybe this should just probably just kill it out, right? Never mind. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I was so close to knocking the guy over. I know! Furiating. There we go. I should have been using that attack this whole time to knock him back because it does double knock back, they said. Okay. Let's... Actually, I think there's a, uh... Behold, treasure. There's a, uh... There's a Healy thingy at some point in here. But if it's not right here, we're gonna use a Together Breakfast. So we're not going to use it to get a breakfast. thing. Steven's double jump is the best way to traverse those little I shall wear it with pride. Where's the where's the no pit damage? I'm past it. I know I am. Um yeah, Steven's double jump is easily the best way to traver to do Back the little platforming bits of this game. Uh, but the problem is, is that Windows has decided it doesn't want me to do yes. those. doesn't want me to be able to do double jumps. Not all the time, anyway. So we're just gonna have to... hope for... yep, that... hope for the best. Okay. And now, re-equip the badges we want. Yes. Parachute pants, as I call it. Yes. I know I put it in here somewhere. Mm. And now let's heal up a bit. Guys, how about Could this? Cat for you. I know I put it in here somewhere. And the... Guys, how about this? Oh, 
they're all boss level too. Hmm. Okay. This is gonna be tricky. Um. Attack mode initiated. And that was a and that was a successful lot too. Okay. Um. Ready. Fire. Attack mode initiated. What am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? on the mage yes uh, actually I'm gonna I'm gonna let the mage sit because the mage is not the biggest threat on the board right now I would rather just have the mage sitting there kind of not being a threat to anybody than then kill it because like if I kill the mage these other guys are gonna start attacking faster and that is a sub a suboptimal situation. Especially because I can just do this, maybe? Can I get away with it? Nope, nope. Oh well. Ooh. But I can. Hey! Oh, I'm in here somewhere. This'll do the trick. But I can oh, double knock back the samurai dude. But first, I'm gonna stop this mage from doing his thing. you oh <laughs> oh well that well, I just made this fight a hell of a lot easier I was worried for nothing ready most bosses you can't double you can't knock them back and so I was just thinking Sometimes knockback is the most overpowered thing in the game, and it's hilarious. I kind of wasted Pearl's, uh, Pearl and Steven's special, though, that means. Oh, well. Yeah, sometimes that's just how it goes. than I expected it to be because of that. <sighs> Yay. We got some level ups out of that, so we don't even need to do it right now. Pearl effect. Yes, indeed. We don't even need. We don't even need to use any healing items right now because the people oh, who got hurt were the ones who leveled everyone. up. 
See? Hard work and dedication always pays off. That is all off. you need. One must always... This is Garnet. Back together. That's how you level up. Yes, indeed. Behold! Treasure! Treasure! Do the paranoia setup. So equipped. I shall wear it with pride. Let's see, I don't remember if there was. There is a fight over here. I don't remember if it was necessary. Okay, yeah, it is because you gotta. Yeah, you gotta do this fight to get the uh, key to that area up there. Okay. And then I think this is. Perry Nora. Uh, no, it's not Perry Nora, it's just old-fashioned paranoia. Paranoia, paranoia, my computer is coming to get me. And I'm sick of dying. Boop. Boop. So equipped. So equipped. Engage. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Two bosses. Person. No ledge to knock him off. Sorry, Minda. I'm afraid I cannot do that. Yeah, please. <laughs> Is that Hal voice or little Hal voice? Um. Hmm. Ready. This is where you died. Yeah, I remember dying on this fight, too. Initiate attack mode. Hollow Pearl. I know I put it in here somewhere. Maybe this? Keep that guy stun locked. <laughs> Fire! Yeah, this is where Danny Page died. Yeah, I think I died in this area too, to be honest. It's not a nice area. It's got two of the toughest bo mini bosses in the game. I'm just gonna focus fire on this guy. He's the biggest threat. Not terrible. Attack. 
Money activating. Oh, and deactivating. Okay, um. tell which one is is being attacked. Uh, that was actually the one I wanted to happen. Okay, um, oh dear. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. at least. happy with where we're at right now, but things are working. Luckily, these bosses attack so slow, it's really easy to just stun them with Garnet and cause them to waste their attacks. Which seems to be how I'm winning this fight. Kind of cheap, but I'll take it. things along with this. Prepare to be amazed. Oh, ouch. Jesus. Um, oh, I know shit. I put it in here shit. Somewhere. Shit. Um, we don't need to go overboard. Do your thing, thing. Wait for it. Okay, and now I think we're just going to... We're going to forgo the, uh... Backstabby Pearl strategy and go for the keep everything stun locked with Garnet strategy. Ready? Mode. 
Jesus. Stay. Okay, that one's almost dead. Okay. I see you there. Getting ready to attack. Not gonna let you. Okay. Ooh, I know. Oh no. Oh no. This is not good. It's about to take care of the garnet. It's about to kill the garnet. Um. We're okay. Um, uh, no, we're not. I don't think so. <laughs> she just say boo. Okay. Well. Ouch. Attack mode. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'll move again. you going? Um, How about... Actually... I think we can handle this. Versus shield, yes. Steven Shield proved to be the superior. And that might be the last fight in here. I don't remember if there was another fight past the big red door. But honestly, I don't think there was. I think we might have just cleared this area. Let's re-equip the uh, paranoia. RPG, RPG, it's a quest for you and me. Yay stuff! Yay Here stuff indeed. Here. Um. Look, Steven, I'm doing the thing. This is Garnet. Back together. I got missed out on some XPs there, which was disappointing, but oh well. <sighs> Oop. Oop. Of 
course, as soon as we equip the paranoia set, everything goes fine, which... Which is just so completely typical, isn't it? <laughs> it's like... But you know what? It's fine. I'd rather have it go that way than the other way. Crying Breakfast Friends badge reduces the entire party's stats by half. Yikes. For when you want a big challenge. And yeah, it's... This badge is interesting because... Um, there's an achievement in the game... For defeating... And the wording on the achievement is what makes it interesting because the achievement... Uh, the achievement says... Defeat any boss while wearing this badge. Well, the thing is, like... It's literally impossible to get this badge until you're right before the final boss. Like, you can't you can't get this badge until very nearly the end of the game when there's only one boss one boss encounter left uh, to do, and it's the final boss. Um, so, like, the wording on the achievement is weird. Like, maybe they just left the uh, wording intentionally vague to avoid spoilers, or maybe they intended to give you this badge earlier in the game so it was possible to defeat any badge. Or maybe there were plans for, like, a New Game Plus where you could have... Uh, Played through the game from the beginning with all of your stats and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Just a weird little thing. Anyway, we have cleared this area. Um, and now we are going to do one last thing. And that's it. Everything is 100%ed on the map. Uh, there is one thing we're going to do before we wrap up this episode. And that is visit Boltron. Just kind of for the heck of it. We've got some Boltron tokens. Um, there's an achievement for listening to all of his stuff, which I don't have yet on Steam. And plus, Boltron occasionally gives you good stuff. And we could use some good stuff for the final boss encounter. So we're going to do that one last chore. And then the next episode is going to be just the Hessenite. Fighting Hessenite. Here we are. It's going to be the end of the game. Never gonna use that. <laughs> well, I mean, let's be real. At this point, uh, for the final boss, you're never gonna waste an item usage. You're never gonna waste a cheeseburger backpack cooldown on a three star. Not against that tonight, anyway. You stop. Um. What am I gonna pick? What am I gonna pick? Sometimes jump onto the beach house roof uh, from the hand warp pad, just so I can say uh, say in garnet for poet voice. Steven, get off the roof. I did jump through the big donut. Uh, people asking if I jumped through the big donut. Indeed, I did. Did that in, like, episode four or five, I think. I've got just the thing. Hey, future boy Boltron, achievement unlocked. And I have listened to everything he has to say. With the final, And the final phrase was the Zelda reference. It's dangerous to go... It is dangerous to go alone. Oh, that's another pet peeve. It's annoying to me that 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 they screwed that up. They screwed up the reference there because one of Boltron's things that he says is it is dangerous to go alone, which is the Zelda reference. But like what they should have said is it is dangerous to go alone. Take this. And that should have been one of the quotes that he says when he gives you an item in the prize dispenser. Lucky crown. Never gonna use that. I know I put it in here somewhere. Cheeseburger backpack! So yeah, Boltron. So it's like, or Grumpy Face Games. Get on that. Fix that. I know I put Boltron it in here should give somewhere. you an item when he says it is dangerous to go alone. In the very near future, you will receive a special prize! Somewhere. All of Rose's tears might actually need that. I know I put it in here somewhere. <sighs> and like an extreme misfortune will haunt your pathetic soul for all eternity. I paid for this? Alright. And I'm going to 
So I think I'm going to sub out Garnet for uh, Connie. Just because I want Connie along for the final boss battle. It's like, uh, you know, Pearl and pa Paradox. I mean, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, Paradox is the only one you need. Um, you killed my father, prepared to die. Um, Pearl I always want to have in the final fight just because, like, she specifically mentions fighting Hessonite in the past. Uh, Paradot you want along because Paradot just wins this fight uh, single-handedly on her own. Um, or at least that's the easiest way to do it. Um, and then your third party member is just kind of up in the air. Uh, Greg is a good choice. Uh, you can just have Greg in the background uh, using his star power thing. Um, or you can just bring Connie along because Connie is awesome and deserves to be here because this is her big adventure. Because Connie is the best. I call everybody the best. That's, 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 that, that's like, like, I, I kind of like play up how much I love Riska from time to time, but there are times where I really do just kind of slip into it without really meaning to. Like, and the, and the fact that, the fact that I now call everything the best is probably one of the big, we're gonna, we're gonna warp to a uh, healing fountain to, uh, heal before we go there. On to the next one. You know, the <laughs> Steven voice, everybody is the best. But like the fact that calling something the best is now just like an ingrained part of my vocabulary is probably like one of the more insidious ways that Vriska has gotten into my head. Not sure how I should feel about that. <laughs> uh anyway. Okay, <laughs> game's back. <sighs> All right. Oh, yeah, this pad, this warp pad is still on cooldown. Uh, well, then we'll just uh, heal up the old-fashioned way. Actually, we're gonna. But actually, we don't need to heal up because we're gonna. Because as soon as uh, we. Because right before we start the battle, we're going to dump a bunch of uh, level up potions on everybody. Uh, so never mind. This was a complete waste of time. Your time and mine. Um, let's get back to Beach City. Ready when you guys are. <sighs> Very nearly done with this game. We had some frustrating moments along the way, but I really do love this game. It's like a Thanks, Warpad. waste of time. Is that a title? Well, according to uh, Hussey, his official class spec is waste of is waste of space. Back when I considered my back when I thought like like um. Like, early on when I started reading Homestuck, I considered myself a time player because uh, because I was remarkably good at keeping track of all the time shenanigans, especially in the Midnight Crew intermission, where there are just a ton of them. And so, early on, I considered myself a time hero. Uh, now it's like I realize it's really more, I'm really more of a light per, uh, characteristic. Uh, much like Vishka, yay! Um, and Rose, there are other light players besides Vriska, Jesus Christ. But anyway... Like, early on, I consider myself a time player, so, like, like, a waste of time would be a great name for my, uh, whole streaming channel. Or if I ever cared to rename my blog, you know, call it the waste of time. Which I'm not gonna do, because at that point I would have to change URLs on hundreds of posts across, like, four years now, and that would just be a pain in the butt. Anyway, we are going to stop here, because it is time to face Hessonite. Uh, we will be back momentarily um, to complete this game. All right. See you in the next video, everybody.